Greetings and welcome to the Leatherworkers Guild. Here we produce the finest leather goods, taking care to hone the, honor the lives which were sacrificed for their creation. Our leather armor is worn by the archers and lancers of this great nation and favored by all who prefer that their protection does not come at a cost to mobility. If you wish to place an order, I bid you visit Fen Il Fineries. If, on the other hand, you have a mind to join our guild, I should be happy to assist you. Might you be interested in becoming a leather worker? Yeah. Nothing would make me happier than to welcome a new initiate into our ranks. However, it is essential that you first understand the burden that every leather worker must bear. As you cannot have failed to notice, the Twelve's Wood is blessed with an abundance of life, and we Gridanians have long hunted the forest's creatures for both nourishment and clothing. But Nergridania is unlike any other place. The elementals watch over the Twelve's Wood, have never looked kindly on the taking of life, and those who flout their governance do so at their own peril. The elementals decreed that life not be taken without due necessity, and so the Trapper's League was formed to regulate the hunting of animals. The Leather Workers Guild was subsequently founded to manage the fair and equitable distribution of pelts. Nowadays, adventurers are a major supplier of pelts, and leather goods have become widespread, but in times past, they were rare and precious. The Leather Workers Guild has not forgotten those times. We treat leather with no less respect than the living creature once it came, comes, and craft goods of the highest quality. In so doing, we honor the lives lost and minimize the need for further killing, an oft-forgotten benefit of our products surpassing durability. Our guild is also the sole producer of the famous Fen Il brand of leather goods, the pride of Gridania. These products represent the ultimate expression of our core tenets and the transient, transcendent technique which shaped them. Know, though, that being a guild, these guys talk forever, guild member does not automatically make you a Fen Il artisan. You must earn the right to become one. For most of the leather workers here, having the fruit of their labors bear the Fen Il brand is yet a distant dream. Then it is life which awaits you, should you choose to walk our path. Success will not be handed to you, but I guarantee that you will have the opportunity to seize it. So if you wish to make a name for yourself and craft goods which are the envy of all, you have come to the right place. Speak to me more if you wish to learn more about enrollment process. Also, this is a dude. He's got a high voice. Don't worry about it. Have you decided to join the Leatherworkers Guild? Way of the Leatherworker. Randall wishes to reaffirm your desire to join the Leatherworkers Guild. Very well. I invite you to speak with Guildmaster Jiva. She is a brilliant artisan, personally responsible for the creation of countless Fen Il products. You have doubtless heard her name before. The Guildmaster's patterns are uniformly elegant, and with them even novice craftsmen can cut their materials with minimal waste. It is for her to decide if you are fit to join us. She can be found in the area work area within. Present yourself to her and do not waver in your determination. All right. Hi, Jiva. She also hot. So you wish to become a leather worker? If you've spoken with Randall, then you've been told what it means to work with leather, the weight you must carry, and the responsibility you must bear. Not just to the elementals, mind you, but also to the guild. Our craftsmanship is unrivaled, and each member is expected to live up to that reputation. Once you join, there is no turning back. If you dishonor us, I shall flay you myself and make a chocobo saddle from your hide. Will you wear to swear to uphold our traditions and be the best leather worker you can be? Yes. Very well. You may learn our craft within these walls, though you seem ill-equipped to do even that. I will give you a head knife to help you on your way, but the rest is up to you. Do not presume that associ your association with us means your work will bear the Fenil name. Until you prove yourself worthy, you will not be permitted to do so much as touch a Fenil product, much less craft one. Now then, if you're to continue with your in initiation, you'll need to put that knife of your, uh, in your hand first. What? Oh, talk to me when you're ready to begin. All right. My neck cracked. Leather worker unlocked. Cancel. Oops. Crafting log unlocked. No, cancel. Okay. 
Uh, my first head knife. To gauge your potential, Guildmaster Jiva wants to, to prepare a circle of leather. Well, you've passed the first test, gripping your knife by the handle and not by the pointy end. Now it's time to see how well you can wield it. Make me a circular circle of leather. You'll need animal skin to do so. Newcomers to our craft often imagine that they need to hunt in order to obtain their materials. But if you have a sense of God's of the gods gave a chocobo's arse, you'd realize that's hardly the case. Oskith over by our receptionist sells most of the items commonly used in our craft. However, she cannot supply you with the earth shards. And that's it for my advice. The rest is up to you. Once you've made the circle of leather, bring it here to be inspected. I can't say I have great expectations for your work. Just see to it you do not waste good skins. Away with you. Okay. Alright. Animal skin in my suit. I can only do one thing, so I don't think I can fuck this up. I can't do quality right now, ma'am. I did it! I'm level three! Let's go! Isn't the leather ready yet? When you've finished, bring it here to be inspected. See Oskith if you lack the necessary materials. Okay. Got it for you. Aye, this is indeed leather, after a fashion. Your work is amateurish in the extreme. The leather is unevenly tanned and particularly unusable. Practically. Damn. But you show promise. Uh, well, about as much promise as the leather you haphazardly crafted. Still, it is apparent that you paid due respect to the life form which you came. Had you perf performed any worse, I'd have cast you out with a second thought. But you didn't, so I won't. Approach each task in earnest as you did today, and I'll continue to advise you. However, you alone are responsible for your development. This is a business we're running, and neither I nor your seniors have the time to hold your hand. Apply yourself to learning our techniques and return here when you have required, acquired some skills. Mayhaps, then, I will have an errand for you to run. The next one is at five. Let's go! Hi, Jiva. A test of technique. Guildmaster Jiva wishes to evaluate your progress. Getting used to that knife I gave you. Gods know it doesn't happen very often, but you've chanced to find me unoccupied. How about you show me what you've learned? Let's see you make three leather chokers. After all, there's more to our craft than simply tanning hides, and chokers are just about the simplest thing one can make. You'll need circles of leather and animal sinew to complete accomplish this task. Oskith can provide the sinew, and I'm sure you recall the method of making leather. I hope your technique has proved improved since last time. Now, while we have a simple stock, ample stock of skins, there are other means of procuring your materials. Hunting your own pelts, for instance. I, I know I said about what I said about before, but that was about assuming it was necessary. Choosing to do so is another matter. Indeed, it may teach you to appreciate the source of your livelihood. Not all leather workers are wont to choose this method, but you are an adventurer, are you not? Then you you finished your work. Bring your chokers here for inspection. Okay. So what do I need to make a choker? So let's do a leather choker. Oh, I have to like, since I did high quality, I have to actually do the high quality thing. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can make this, but I have master's mend, which I believe adds more. Yeah. So we'll see. Just in case, I'm gonna do it anyway. I forgot I actually have to pay attention to my CP right now. <laughs> I haven't had to do that in so long. Alright. I probably could make it. how much the durability is. YOLO? Yeah! 
ready. Level eight, let's go. Wee. It's still snowing, chat. Hate it. All right. Here you go, girl. You finished your work then? Okay. Yeah. I was just seeing if I could. <laughs> I suppose there's no denying that these are leather chokers. If truth be told, an Opopo Opa Opo could achieve similar results given skin, sinew, and time. Oh, but I don't mean to make light of your efforts. You fulfilled the order precisely as requested. A job well done. Now then, I will teach you something to supplement your learning. Through physical training, the body can be made strong and resistant to injury. Not so the throat, whichever remains a vulnerable point. Although a leather choker provides less protection than a metal gorget, gorget? its simple design makes it ideal for everyday applications. This simplicity also makes it ideal choice for beginners practicing basic techniques and for guildmasters assessing the progress. As you are, you would make a passable leather worker, one among the nameless multitudes who scrape a living out there. Whether you rise to become something more is contingent upon your efforts. Consider this amateur's all a reward for your efforts. You will find it an indispensable partner to head to the head knife you as you continue your training. Now I must return to my work. If you chance to find me unoccupied again, mayhap I'll teach you something else. Till then, keep your nose to the grindstone. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I gotta pick something? What? Let's do the pants. I don't know. Jiva's Gambit. Guildmaster Jiva has a new task for you. How your techniques come... How are your techniques coming along? If you honestly think you've improved, then I have a new task for you. But before that, let me ask, are you you are familiar with the Fenil brand, are you not? No. <laughs> Surely you jest. I could forgive such ignorance if you were a passing adventurer, newly come to Eorzea. But to have trained under my roof whilst remaining ignorant of the most coveted brand of leather goods in all the realm, it boggles the mind. Anyway, all goods sold under the distinguished Fen Il name are crafted by none other than our leather workers. We've been asked to fill an especially large order on short notice, so, and so our stores of hard leather are nearly depleted. I was considering how best to handle the situation when you arrived. I'm sure you see what is going on. We need a dozen circles of hard leather as fast as you can make them. Quickly now, go. Okay, damn. Deliver. 12. I clearly haven't done crafting legit in a while, okay? <laughs> it's been a bit. I probably could do this a more effective way. I don't know what- wait, what does this do? Restores 20 CP. Oh, eh. It's not that- okay. I'll do that. Wow, that takes up so much. I forgot. I mean, it's fine. It works. I'm halfway there, chat. Living on a prayer. The size difference between our crafting tables. Yeah. <laughs> the little lullaphone. It's crafting table. It's so cute. So itty bitty. I did it. All right. Jiva. Here's your freaking hard leather. Please tell me you've brought the hard leather. Well, I almost didn't. <laughs> it, yes. Here's your hard quality item. Oh, high quality. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> well, well. These are better than I expected. It is more difficult to boil leather than to tan it, but the process results in a stronger, more durable product. These properties make hard leather the material of choice for those who prefer stouter armor. The fruits of your labor shall serve the guild well. 
as training materials for new initiates. <sighs> <laughs> that was such a loud noise I made. Hmm? You seem troubled. Surely you do not imagine that your leather would be used to construct it in the construction of fen ill goods. Ha ha ha. Oh gods, no. Our only our elite leather workers, handpicked by me, are permitted to make wares that bear the fen ill name. While we had enough hard leather to complete the Fennel Commission, some of the materials used, despite being of excellent quality, were originally intended to be distributed as practice materials. As such, the initiate supplies ran dangerously low. Come now, there is no call to be disheartened. Do you not see that the... In furnishing the beginners with supplies, you have proven that you are no longer a beginner? You have given them that which you could they could not make themselves when you first arrived i would never have entrusted you with such a task make no mistake you are improving why at this rate my great great grandchildren may yet commission you to make a shoe sole or even two speaking of commissions i think you've proven yourself sufficiently to skilled to handle orders without my supervision go and see gontrant in the Carlian Canopy, if you're interested in taking on a few guild leaves, no, you would gain a much needed experience and earn yourself some coin besides, I don't need coin, babe, but enough chatter. Come and see me again when you further refine your technique. Oh, and if you make it during my lifetime, I dare say you'll find me in more talkative mood. What is that supposed to mean? I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna go buy better, it's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Working hells for leather. Guildmaster Jeeva requires your assistance due to an unanticipated setback. Ah, cat, you couldn't have come at a better time. We urgently need someone to craft a pair of hard leather cal cal caligae? Uh, and a hard leather choker. Do you think you could handle both? To explain the situation, I had entrusted the commission to another leather worker, but found the quality of his work so wholly unacceptable that I had no choice but to demand that he start again. Naturally, I gave the fellow a sound dressing down, reminding him that he had to had dishonored the name of Fenil and so on, only for him to run off bawling, leaving a trail of snot and tears in his wake. Wow, she has zero, zero sympathy. Needless to say, I was more than a little concerned. After all, there was a very real possibility that I was going to have to keep a customer waiting. But thanks to your timely arrival, everything will be put to rights. As I've already mentioned, I need you to craft the two articles in your overly sensitive colleague's stead. This will be your first task undertaken uh, for Fen Il Fineries. This is an opportunity few leather workers receive. See that you don't squander it. What is it? Troubled by the crushing weight of expectation? Well, you may cast your fears aside. You've done yourself credit done yourself credit thus far. Carrying out my instructions with nary a complaint and taking all my criticism on the chin. I know that you won't shame us. And even should you the worst come to the worst, I know you'll have the good grace to go before the customer and apologize in person. But enough talk. You had best get started if you're to complete the order on time. Okay, damn, ma'am. So what do I need for this? Kelige. Oh. Oops. Yeah, just one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like how we do it a little bit differently. Tap, tap, tap. Will I need to? Yeah, probably. I'm not gonna risk it. Beast Wars robots in disguise? Okay. Yay! And then I need the choker. Okay. Not too bad. You could take your switch. That's the whole purpose of the switch. JK, you don't have to do that. No, see, Quinn, in order to capture from a switch, I need a dock and also my Elgato, which I do not want to bring my Elgato with because technology and it's pretty fragile and sensitive. So like if it gets bumped around at all, I'm too nervous it's gonna get broken. And that thing is not cheap to do that with. The two pieces are ready, you say? Hmm? That remains to be seen. 
Damn. Why is there an X? Well, it counts. Oh, because I can't wear it. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. The leather used is well made and the articles look as they should. Bitch, it's high quality. The construction is solid. Good. As you know, this type of leather is valued for its toughness and durability, yet these same qualities make it troublesome to work. An inexperienced leather worker often run, ruins the material with shoddy stitching and poor molding, resulting in a final product that is misshapen, brittle, and liable to fall apart. Your Caligain choker, however, bear none of the hallmarks of amateurism. Your construction is solid and your leather has retained its strength. You have grown considerably as a leather worker cat. Your latest creations attest to this. Oh, thanks. But you still have some way to go. The clasps aren't securely fastened and the stitching needs to be tighter. In short, you must learn to pay more attention to the details. These articles aren't quite fit to the, be placed into the customer's hands, but they can be salvaged. You have done your part well enough. I will see to the rest. In the meantime, I would have you attend to something else. It is an important duty, and one that is all too often overlooked by artisans, namely taking responsibility for falling short of expectations. In the guild's reception area, you will find an old Olden man named Sosobadi, one of our regular customers. It is he who placed the order for the Caligain choker. Wouldn't that be important to know because I clearly didn't make it for a Lollafell. I just, you know, clearly. It's on like a much taller mannequin. Anyway, I would have you go to him and kneel in apology for the delay. Bitch is telling me to kneel. Do we have a safe word, ma'am? Because I feel like we need one. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess. I didn't know you were a Lalafell. I would have made them smaller. Huh? What in the name of the 12 are you doing? Do get up. What's that? My order is delayed, you say? Is that all? <laughs> and there was here I was thinking something terrible had happened. It's quite all right, truly. I came here precisely because the Leather Workers Guild has never com compromised on quality. This trifling delay only confirms to me that the principle still endures. Anyway, it is very kind of you to bring me word. By the by, your face isn't familiar to me. Are you new to the guild? So Jiva herself is applying the finishing touches to your handiwork even as we speak. Well... I dare say the guildmaster sees promise in you. Why else would she consider your work worthy of her personal attention? She is famous for having cut up far more experienced leather workers' efforts for scraps, and that before their very eyes. As for encouraging you to come and apologize, some may think that Jiva goes too far, but it is simply her way of educating her own on the finer points of business. As a native of Ulda, I may say with some confidence that it is an education worth enduring. Well, it has been a pleasure to meet a rising star of the Leather Workers Guild, and that is no hollow flattery I speak. Your name is Catwin Wissov, yes? I shall observe your career here with great interest. In fact, the next time I place an order at Fenil Fineries, I shall make a point of insisting that you are given the job. Oh, thanks, bro. None of these are better than what I have. And I'm level 17, let's go! I'll go everything. Guildmaster Jiva has a difficult task for you. Ah, there you are, cat. I hope you've been working on your techniques, because I have a difficult task for you. Well, mayhap not as difficult as I had originally intended. I had thought to bid to you prepare a hundred circles of eld goat leather, but instead I want to gauge your aptitude for materia melding. No! You have at least a passing famili familiarity with materia, correct? The crystallized substance which used often used to enhance the properties of weapons and armor? I certainly hope you do, Cap, because an experienced leather worker is expected to possess the skills to meld materia to his wares. For this task, you will affix a single materia to a pair of goat skinned leggings. What type of materia you use is of no consequence. What matters is your ability to successfully attach it. And it goes without saying that you must make the leggings as well. To do so, you'll need cotton cloth and eld goat leather. Most cotton cloth is produced by the weavers of Olda's sun silk tapestries, while eld goat leather is, of course, obtained from Aldgoats, which roam the deserts of Thanalan. 
Lest you think I mean to send you all the way to the Sultanate, fear not. If you can obtain your materials by pursuing the market boards or by eliciting the help of friends, by all means do so. I'm using the market board. That said, a trip to Central Thanalan might be warranted if you know nothing of materia. There's a goblin somewhere out there who's said to be an authority on the subject. Now run along and get crafting, cat. I don't know if I need to do that. Which is kind of upsetting. I'll see if I can make it high quality. I don't know if it's possible, but... I forget I can do that. I'm gonna try once. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, didn't matter, good. 69, nice. Okay, so I have it crafted. Waking the spirit. Wishes to teach you how to meld materia. Yeah, oh, well, I guess it's this one. Maybe I should have read. But I'll, I'll stretch at the same time. Why, hello there. I see you're a disciple of the hand, like me. Mayhap, oh wait, no. I think she had a voice before, I don't know. Mayhap you're interested in learning how to meld materia to gear? If so, it'd be my pleasure to teach you. Okay. Ready to begin? Good. Now then, there's one thing to keep in mind when melding materia. Materia slots. Arms and armor each have a certain number of these slots. And these determine how many pieces of materia they can host. Normally an item cannot host more pieces of materia than it has slots. However, as with most other things in life, there are certain exceptions. But this sort of knowledge is for later down the road, after you've become more experienced. You may want to broach the subject matter with Master Mutamix. Now off you go and happy melding. Oh, that was easy. Fixing materia. Material melding now available. Okay. Meld. Uh, why can't I do that? What, does it have to be a certain kind? Melding materia muchly. You are given to understand that Mutamix is the keeper of secret materia techniques. Psh, psh. Uplander is joiner of materia. Uplander desires to join muchly, yes? The Mutamix makes brain case for Uplander rattle with secret knowings of materia. But first, Uplander must be proving readiness. Uplander, show, show we do attaching eight pieces of materia, then let Uplander and Mutamix trade tongue flaps again. You want me to what? I need to meld materia before him eight times. Sir, that is asking a lot of me. Meld. I'm gonna give two. Just so I can finish this quest. Psh, psh. Uplander has good joiny skills. Uh, Mutamix give Uplander secret knowings of wa ward bond. Mosty part, one fighty tool bears only little materia. But if Uplander uses secret joiny skill, one fighty tool bears many materia, maybe. Mutamix teach Uplander secret joiny skill. But Uplander keep the brain case that it sometimes work un unrightly. Will Fighty Tool of Uplander bear many a materia? Or will materia run to bitty bits? Using secret joiny skill, not for unstrong of bladder. What did you just tell me? Okay, it's done. Are the leggings ready yet? I trust you didn't forget to attach the materia to it. Bitch. Ah. Yes. Yes. Well, they could be worse. I don't know how long you've been about this adventuring business, Cat, but did you know that leggings were once no more than strips of cloth or leather? leather? It's true. We used to wrap each leg with a single long strip from ankle to knee. Nowadays, of course, Designs which extend to the thigh are far more popular. Soft, lightweight leggings like these provide the balance of protection and flexibility demanded by the wood whalers, the god's quiver, and the adventurers like your good self. Based on your leggings, I'd say you understood well the importance of these qualities. 
not to mention the basics of material melding. Indeed, if I were to judge your performance on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give you a 6. No, a 7. The remaining three points, you ask? Quite simply, really. Quite, quite simple, really. Your leggings were made from skins, which were taken from living creatures. The Twelve's wood is filled with a wealth of life, which we weather leather workers must take in order to craft our products. Do you know how the old goat live? How it was killed and skinned? Do you understand how these skins find their way to our hands? To understand this process is to understand life itself. Those leather workers whose creations truly deserve to bear the name of Fen Il have faced this burden and accepted it. To them, it's simply truth. Therein lies the difference between the good and the great. Your leggings are fine, Cat. It is you that needs improvement. Call me an incurable optimist, but I do not think it is beyond you. Study your materials and learn their history. Practice your craft and keep discovering new techniques. That is still your path forward. And who knows, mayhap one day I'll allow you to represent the guild in the annual exhibition and pit your skills up against the finest craftsmen in all of Gridania. Of course, that day, should it ever come, is yet a long way off. Still, it is good to have a goal, however distant, is it not? Okay. I'm already above that, so it's fine. Da da da! Level 28. Alright. Alright, Jiva. Next one. Skin in the game. Guildmaster Jiva appears to be upset, though it would probably be wiser not to. Perhaps you should see what is troubling her. Oh, he'll pay. I swear by Louis Soie's beard, I'll tear his skin from his... Ahem, cat. It's good that you are here. Listen to this. An old Don merchant has set about blackening the guild's good name. He claims that some toad leather he we sold him is, and I quote, an inferior quality. Ah, you heard me. Inferior. The gall of the man. I swear to you, I would be the very soul of contrition if his allegations were proven true. But they just seem so, so utterly unthinkable. Why, he claims the leather was e unevenly tanned and still reeking of toad slime. It's clear that whoever made that leather didn't know the first thing about working with toad skin. Which means that there is no way in seven hells that it came from us. Believe me when I tell you, Cat, I'll be a I'll be deep in the cold, hard ground before I permit such shoddy work to bear our name. The very thought of some two gill hide mangler claiming the to represent this guild makes me wanna Gah Ahem. Uh -huh. Ultimately, it doesn't matter that this isn't our handiwork. If our customers begin to suspect that our standards are slipping and that we are not showing our materials the proper respect, our good name will be lost and our many years of hard work will be for naught. We cannot let that happen. Though I am certain we have done no wrong, we need to make this right. We'll settle this with a display of authentic craftsmanship. Prepare a circle of high-quality toad leather and bring it to me for inspection. Understood? Okay. Toad leather. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna hope and pray. Prepare a circle of high-quality toad leather and bring it to me immediately. I want this matter resolved as soon as possible. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> this will do nicely, cat. You clearly understand the unique properties of toad skin and how best to harness them. This leather is sturdy, flexible, and completely free of unpleasant odors. There is but one thing left to do. I want you to take this toad leather, march down to the Carleen canopy, and shove it in this Imar's face. Show the impertinent fool what real Fen Il quality looks like. Does that mean I'm making Fen Il quality things? Ma'am? 
Completely and utterly unacceptable. Shame on Fennel and their vain, glorious claims. Pch, how does any could anyone call this rubbish toad leather? This is toad leather. About time one of your charlatans showed up. What is this? More toad leather? I demand a full refund, not more of your. Your. Wait, is this. By the twelve, I have never seen such exquisite toad leather. This would make an excellent belt or bag. Am I to understand that you are a producer of Fennel goods? And you bring this to me by special order of the legendary Jiva herself? What in the world is the meaning of this? I don't know. You tell me. Who the fuck gave you? Oh. I'm almost terribly sorry, sir good sir. When the merchant told me it was Gridanian leather, I naturally assumed that this Angrotha was somehow affiliated with Fanul. I should have known that it was too good to be true. A fraction of the time, a fraction of the price, he said. Well, I certainly got what I paid for. I mean, I had never even heard of Angbrotha before, but now everyone knows that Gridania is famous for. No, no more excuses. It is my responsibility as a merchant to evaluate the supplier, and my own damn fault for that I purchased an inferior product. Reputation is everything in this world, and I fear I have unjustly besmirched your guilds. And yet, despite all that, the great Jiva saw fit to give me this exquisite leather. Well, I too have a reputation to uphold. This gesture cannot go unanswered. Okay. Excellent work, Cat. That bastard Imar felt so appallingly guilty he rushed over here to beg my forgiveness in person. I have witnessed some groveling in my time, but this was a truly masterful display. Bowing, stuttering, sniveling. He it had it all. Oh, how I wish you had seen it, Cat. A proud old Don merchant, humbled by a circle of toad leather. You've improved more than I thought. Now all we have to do is find out who's making this Angbrotha, Angbatha, I don't know, da Dross. Our contrite friend said he, that he had been told it was New Gridanian brand, but no one here has heard of it. New Gridanian brand. It's obvious they mean to capitalize on our good name. I'd like to meet the man who made that toad leather. Actually, Cat, should you happen to cross him in your travels, I'd consider it a personal favor if you would flay the skin off from his back and make me a pair of soles so that I can grind him into the dirty dirt every single day. Ma'am is talking about a murder. Ma'am, you speak of actual murder? Toad skin of the father. Oh. Guildmaster Jiva has a special request for an experienced leather worker. There you are, Cat. Just the leather worker I was looking for. Well, one of the several I would consider asking, but that's beside the point. Anyway, I have an ask for you. I have a task for you. Wow, I read that wrong. Mere moments ago, we received an older gentleman who demanded that we give his commission priority. Needless to say, I refused him without hesitation and had him thrown out. In retrospect, however, I believe his forwardness may have owed more to desperation than mere impatience. Could you perhaps speak with this client on my behalf? I am told he was last seen heading east in the direction of the market stalls. Of course, he may have gone further than that, but being an energetic adventurer, I'm sure you'll find him eventually. Who the fuck am I finding? Kamalane. Oh, I'm so far away. Hi, buddy. Okay. You... You're a leather worker? Thank you for coming to see me. Sorry, I was rubbing my eye. I know that my behavior at the guild was inexcusable. Permit me to start from the beginning. I heard tell of a new brand of leather goods that was cheaper than Fenil, but just as well made. Not being a wealthy man, I saw no reason to spend the extra gill and purchase some of this Angbra Ang Angerbatha branded leather before my or armor for my boy, only to be disappointed. To an untrained eye, it may seem fit for purpose, but I served as a wood whaler for many years and could tell at a glance that it was no match for Ixal weapons. Aye, they made it fast and cheap as advertised, but had I known the quality would be so bloody awful, I would have found the extra gill and gone to Fen Ill Fineries in the first place. I know what I ask is unreasonable, but my boy is about to enlist in the whalers, and I want to give him something that would last a lifetime, something that his son could wear when the time came. Uh, I swear that Angbrotha stuff couldn't keep him alive long enough to have a son. Please, would you make me a to toadskin jacket? Sir, can I know if your son is Elizan or Lala? This is apparently very important. 
I see. A gift from father to son to be passed down through the ages. Only a well-crafted item could be expected to carry generations of memories and tradition. A toadskin jacket, was it? Well, after hearing such a tale, who could possibly refuse? Why are you looking at me like that? It was a rhetorical question, Cat. I'm not a monster. You heard his words, so you know what's at stake better than anyone. I bid you make a toadskin jacket at the highest possible quality and present it to me for inspection. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I have to, cause, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Probably. I think I've done more annoying things for the grand company right now, so. What does Tricks of the Trade do? Oh, eh, eh, doesn't matter. I don't need CP. We doing it? Should be enough. Yep. We got it. Let's go. Remember what's at stake, Cat. We need a quality toad skin jacket that can withstand generations of wear and tear. All right. Oh. I dare say this is your best work yet. The spalders and breasts are made from the finest toad skin, and the ghost skin backing alone would provide solid protection. It strikes the perfect balance between mobility and protection, and I can find no fault with it. Aye, it's a fitting gift for a young whaler to be. I expect the cama that Camelane will agree. Take it to him, cat. I can make that happen for you. Oh... Why, oh, why? Yeah, why, oh, why did I have to think about the gill? Everyone knows fennel goods are the best, and the best is no less than my son deserves. I think of him clad in the Angroth Angrotha crap when he becomes a whaler. Uh, here you go. Praise the matron, a toadskin jacket! I could not have hoped for such kindness. And this craftsmanship is beyond compare. In fact, I do not believe I have ever seen finer leather equipment in all my years. My son will be thrilled to receive it. A craftsman that had never known battle could not possibly have made a jacket like this. Tell me, sir, are you... But of course, even Jiva has seen fit to welcome capable adventurers like yourself into her guild. I hope you will continue to share your gift with the people of Gridania and give others the opportunity to savor your work. Who wants to savor my work, chat? I take it from your grin that Cam Camel- Yeah, Camelane was satisfied. Glad to hear it. Gods, I'm getting fed up with this Engra- Brotha sound nonsense. I'm sick of saying it. First that old Don merchant, and now this. Honestly, I don't know what idiotic plan they have in mind, but it's only a matter of time before word spreads. Quickly, cheaply produced goods may entice customers, but quality goods keep them. I wonder if they'll ever consider participating in the exhibition. On the one hand, there is no better way to publicize your brand. On the other hand, they must surely know that they are in no position to compete with real leather workers. But I do hope they try, Cat. I would love nothing more than to see those Angbrotha frauds get their comeuppance. To look on the as artisans and merchants from every corner of Eorzea cast judgment on their works and proclaim them a disgrace. She's excitable. All right. Da, 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 da. That also reminded me I should probably eat. Lead by example. Guildmaster Jiva has a task she believes appropriate for a leather worker of your burgudgeon, burgudgeoning, bird. Yeah, burgudgeoning abilities. Sluggards and slouches, the lot of them. Cat, don't tell me you haven't noticed as well. Uneven seams, slipshod stamping, a work produced by the guild's rank and file in recent days simply isn't up to snuff. Whether it be the impending exhibition or this whole Angbrotha business that is distracting our craftsmen, I do not know. What I do know is that if they don't get their act together and soon we're at risk of actually losing business to those charlatans. I will not stand idly by as a lack of discipline undoes the reputation that our guild has worked so long to achieve. Someone needs to remind those slouches why they became leather workers in the first place, and I've decided that person will be you. Yes, you, cat. Surprised, are you? Ha! 
I may question your skills, but not your dedication to our craft. Bring me the finest pair of boar skin ring bands you can craft, and show me that my trust hasn't been misplaced. It would only be only the slightest of exaggerations to say that the future of this guild, not to mention your future, hangs in the balance. Now get to it and show your good-for-nothing guildmates how it's done. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Oh, it seems to be going along okay. The beauty of having good gear. Ooh. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, bitch. All right. We did it. Well, Cat, have you crafted for me the finest boar skin ring beds this guild has ever seen? No pressure, of course. Of course. No pressure at all. Hmm, is that a smudge? One could hardly call this perfect. Fortunately, it is not perfection I sought of you, but pure, single-minded devotion to the craft. And from the moment I took this ring band in hand, I knew you had not let me down. Clearly, you possess a keen understanding of the ideal ring band. The boar skin, light, sturdy, and resistant to friction, is reinforced by steel links to afford protection without weighing down the wearer. Clumsily crafted ring bands have been known to distract those that would wield magic. Yours, however, are so well balanced that one might forget that she is wearing anything at all. This is true. This is a true accomplishment of leatherworking, and will serve as a clarion wake up call to any loafer content with churning out substandard work. I will be honest with you, Cat. When you first came stumbling through our doors, I reckoned I'd have an easier time making you into a saddle than a respectable leather worker. How pleased I am to have been wrong. Proven wrong. You have risen to the challenge and become a model to the entire guild, which reminds me. I have spoken to you of the Gridanian exhibition, yes? The day of opening draws near, and I must devote myself fully to oper producing our new line of leather fashions. As this will afford me little time to devote to everyday affairs, I require someone to handle the more demanding commissions until the exhibition has come and gone. I have decided that you are the man for the job. That's right, your next task will be to serve as my personal assistant. Don't even think about neglecting your training, is that clear? Okay. I won't. Do, 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 do. <gasps> and I'm level 42. Let's go. Brand loyalty. Oh, she only does the second one here. Damn. Okay. A recent order of guild master has guild master Jeeva flustered. Rauger, take me. Why are you saying Rauger? Isn't he old? Anyway. Uh, of all the times for this order to come in. Here, have a look, cat. An order for a pair of Borskin Smithy's gloves made by the Guildmaster herself using her famous Jiva patterns to be delivered post haste, no less. I'd bet a mo month's earrings that this oaf couldn't tell my handiwork from a Gaboo's arse, but does that stop him from filing such a tactless order when I'm up to my very ears in work for the exhibition? Apparently not. Post haste? I'd deliver a slap upside the head post-haste if it didn't have negative repercussions for the guild business. Ugh, unfortunately my new assistant has arrived. Why you, of course, Cat? I did mention that I'd be delegating work to you while I focused on the exhibition, did I not? What about the customer's conditions, you say? Bah, he'll get a pair of gloves made by the famous Cat himself, and he'll like them just fine. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Hey. I'm sure there's much more efficient ways than what I'm doing, but this is how I know to do it. I'm gonna give myself some extra CP. Or not CP, but uh, durability. That's the word. I'll keep you dry. Aw, thank you, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Hello, hello. Oh, there's, there's words in our way. I'm sorry. Well, have you brought me the work of the famous cat? I'm 
famous? Thanks. <coughs> a smithy's glove must be sturdy enough to protect his hands from the fires of the forge. At the same time, they must be pliant enough so as to not hinder the precise movements needed to work fine steel. Crafted from boarskin, lightweight, tough, and resistant to friction, this pair of smithy's gloves represent the best of both worlds. The simple design allows the five fingers to move with full range of motion, the ideal handywear, handwear for any capable smith. Your work is admirably captured each has admirably captured each of these essential points. I am happy to sign off on it. You may deliver it to Fen Il Fineries without delay. What, the Jiva patterns? Do not worry yourself with such foolishness. Have I not told you that he will not know better? At any rate, off with you. Even a fool of a client is a valued customer. How much do I bet you he's going to figure it out? My very first pair of custom-made smithy's gloves, by, made by the famous guildmaster Jiva to boot, are set to arrive from the Leather Workers Guild any moment now. I can hardly wait to try them on. Here you go. I hope they fit, because I didn't make them for you. <laughs> A delivery for me, you say? Oh, do hand it over, and quickly if you would. Now what have we- Hog Hoglets to hornets and brigets my uncle. If this isn't the finest, most comfortable pair of gloves I've ever laid hands on. And to think that they are the... Hmm? What's that you say? Chat, are we telling the blacksmith the truth? I love this chat. Okay. What the... What's that you say? These gloves are not the work of Jiva? Why, I never... I could just... I... I... I couldn't give two shits about that! <laughs> Friend, I don't know a damn thing about you leather workers and your patterns. A fellow smith assured me that Jiva's gloves were the peer of peerless quality, and that was enough for me. I placed my order that same day, sight unseen, and I am full glad I did, for you have brought me the most comfortable pair of smithy's gloves I have ever had the pleasure to own. You and the guildmaster have my utmost gratitude. Aww. I'm glad he didn't care. <laughs> another satisfied customer, yes? I told you that you worried for not cat. Oh, I suppose you're still curious about those Jiva patterns, aren't you? Allow me to explain. Some years ago, Gridanians took... That's a cute-ass outfit. Can I just say? Uh, Gridanians took quite a fancy to a toad-skin bag of my design. So popular were the bags that they quickly sold out, driving pieces up to a premium. What do you suppose happened next? Greedy artisans sought to cash in on my success. Toads were hunted nigh to extinction, and a host of limit imitation bags flooded the market. I was devastated as a proud leather worker and lover of nature both. But what would I what could I do? For weeks, months I struggled, yet felt powerless against the forces of greed. That's when it struck me. Even if I could not stop the others from copying my creations, I could at least ensure that their work was not needlessly destructive. I swore a vow that the next line of Jiva Toadskin bags would be made with an eye towards e economy, and that patterns used to craft these wares would be enable would enable inexperienced leather workers to reproduce my designs with minimum waste. Do you see now, cat? Artisans worthy of the Fennel name need do not need to rely on Jiva patterns. They already respect the nature world, natural world to which we owe our livelihood. This is something that cannot be taught, yet it has clearly awakened within you. Which is why I did not hesitate to entrust you with this task, and why you can expect many more to come. Okay. All right, we've done all of them. Yeah, that's a cute ass reaper outfit, by the way. Dissension in the ranks. Jiva's running about the guild like a half-crazed chocobo and looks like she could use a uh, helping hand. Well, if it isn't Cat, now you have the look of a leather worker who could use, who could do the work of three men. And thank the Twelve for that because three of our good-for-nothing colleagues just walked right out the door, leaving three commissions of the highest priority unfulfilled. Or unfilled. A pair of raptor skin fingerless gloves, a raptor skin targe, and a raptor skin choker. I need them. I just did the targe. I need them, and I need them on the double. The promised dates of delivery, you ask? Yesterday, last week, and four night fortnights ago. 
in that order. To make amends for the the delays, I've personally assured each of our clients that their items will be of peerless quality. I trust you will not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. Ma'am, you ask a lot of me. There we go. This one? Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, close enough. I don't think I have enough to do. I do not. Oh, isn't that less than last time? Oh, shit. We'll make it. It's fine. Yeah. And it was high quality. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. All right. What's the other thing? Oh, they're high quality. Let's go. Sweet. I fucked up. Yeah. Damn it. Ah. Uh, okay. Cobalt rivets are going to be the pain of my existence. Okay. Let's see if we can do it this time. I'm sure there's, again, better ways to do things, but... I'll go to as high up as I can, and I know I need five now. To make it. Da 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 da. Okay, we're hoping 83 is enough, chat. <gasps> we're gonna hope. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, let's go. No, I totally understand that. Hell no. This also needs five. Oh, we don't have quite. We're YOLO! I'm gonna see how high we can get this percentage. Sixty four. YOLO! There's a reason I carry pepper spray and a couple other items on me at all times. If someone was that much in my space, my hand would be right on those items. Yeah. No, absolutely. Mace? Not really here, yeah. Been maced before, have you? Oh god. High quality? Yeah, let's go! Alright, we have everything. I'm saving your ass. Time is of the essence, cat. If you have the raptor skin tars, choker, and gloves, show them to me. Here you go. I did it! Yes, I suppose these will do. The skin of the fleet-footed raptor boasts both superior flexibility and exceptional ruggedness. The rub, of course, being that it is by no means easy to work with. Fingerless gloves are the choice of many a warrior for allowing the fingers to better grip their weapon. Thus do weapon and wielder become one. A well-crafted choker affords superior protection without impairing breathing or causing undue discomfort. And the Tarj, at first glance it means of defense, but in times of need it can be employed to intimidate or even injure one's foe. I presume you were all well aware of this. The quality of your work speaks to a sound understanding of material and implementation alike. I see no reason that these items be kept from their purchasers any longer. Deliver them with all speed. The gloves to Pimo Nelha at Nafika's altar, the Tarj to Luric at the Carolian Canopy, and the choker to a new client by the name of Nago Jawantal. You'll find her at the Shaded Bower. Bower. With that, I can finally return to my work for the exhibition, and I swear the next person who dares interrupt me will see their hide made into the centerpiece of my display. Okay, ma'am, I will not upset you. Ah! Hold it right there, you loafing leather worker. You'll take not another step until you explain why your guild has yet to deliver the choker it commissioned moons ago. Oh, I didn't mean to skip past your second thing. Oops, sorry. Sorry, chat. I didn't know. Wait, hold on. 
There we go. And it had best not be another overworn excuse, lest I take my business straight to Angbratha and tell my friends to do the same. Here you go, ma'am. Why, this choker? I've never seen such. I mean, bah, a choker is a choker. My battle-scarred papa could fashion the likes of this with his one remaining arm tied firmly behind his back. You brazenly neglect your clients in favor of designing frivolous fashions for some ridiculous exhibition, then expect pay for shoddy work delivered behind the schedule. The arrogance of you self-styled artisans knows no bounds. I hear that even your guild own guild's own have had enough the, of Guildmaster Jiva and her nonsense. Mark my words, the Leather Workers Guild is finished. Sounds like she's maybe set up to be from the new thing. Customers these days want speed and value for their guild, and your your law offers neither. Because she was, like, shocked at first and was like, oh, this is really good. Just kidding, it's not good! Wait, I recognize you. You're one of Jiva's subordinates, yes? Have you perchance come to deliver my gloves? What craftsmanship? Why, it's as if these gloves were tailored to fit each of my fingers. This is precisely why I would never think to obtain my protectives from anywhere other than the Leatherworkers Guild. For Jiva to maintain this level of quality with the exhibition at hand is no small feat. Aw, at least you were really understanding. You look an awful lot like Thancred. You've the look of a leather worker. Might you know why my commission has been delayed? I've been waiting for my targe for a week now. This, this is exceptional. No apologies needed, my friend. For a targe of this quality, I'd have gladly waited twice as long. Which is why these rumors of mass resignations are so distressing. What could have possessed good, honest leather workers to abandon their craft? That is a great question. Okay, now we report back. Nago said what? Speed and value? That mutton-headed Mikote wouldn't know a well-crafted choker if I used one to wring her scrawny neck. Ah, oh, that said, even I must admit, there is some truth to her words. No self-respecting guild would seek fame and fortune at the exhibition, while valued customers suffer undue delays for goods purchased with honest coin. I wish it had not come to this cap, but my decision is made. The Leather Workers Guild shall withdraw from this year's exhibition. There are customers out there who appreciate the quality of our guild, our guild offers, and we must see them well served. There will be other exhibitions, but trust once lost is not, but trust once lost is not so easily regained. In any event, you have proven yourself a loyal leather worker today, Cat. I thank you. You're welcome. A good amount of things that I must have had ready. All right, level 50. Accept no imitations. Jiva appears to be very, very happy to see you. Oh, for the love of cat, you picked a fine time to show up. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm in quite the predicament here, and you just might be able to help. What sort of predicament, you ask? Only the sort which I have several hundred deliveries to make before the next bell, despite having just two legs, you see. Withdrawing from the exhibition has freed me to devote my efforts to filling guild commissions. That is all well and good. The problem is now that I have more clients than ever, none of whom take kindly to being kept waiting. Bah, for, that, for every moment me, we waste chatting, we risk losing a valued customer. Make yourself useful and take this choker to a client waiting at the Whistling Miller. On the double. Okay. Hey. From the guild, yes? Have you come to deliver my choker? Here you go. Ah, true guild quality as ever. Yes, all the time and effort put into this piece is painfully evident in the overwrought nature of its design. We have only just met, but you strike me as a smart young man. Hence my offer. What say you bid farewell to your fruitless life as Jiva's lapdog and come work for me? Oh. Oh, we found the bitch, chat. Who am I, you ask? Why, none other than the founder and proprietor of Angbatha Apparel and Accoutrements, Gridania's premier producer of leather goods. As a clever man like you has doubtless surmised, Many of your more ambitious colleagues have already abandoned the Leather Workers Guild to bring their prod prod prodigious talents to Ingbratha. And why wouldn't they? Who wants to waste precious hours learning how to stitch the perfect seam when a serviceable one will suffice? Not I, that's for certain. 
and Bothercant products are just as durable as Jiva's overrated rubbish. We've literally proven not so much. Crafted in half the time for a fraction of the cost. Should you have any doubts, I invite you to come by the exhibition and judge for yourself. Such a shame that the Leather Workers Guild will be absent from the competition. I was so looking forward to defeating dear Jiva this year. Ah, well. For all her faults, clearly the woman had sense enough to see that she was fighting a lost cause. Ta-ta, friend, and remember my offer. Let's throw him in the river, or off an airship. I'd agree. Let's do it. You're back, Cat, and not a moment too soon. I've just heard the most distressing rumor. Word about town is that renowned leather workers from across the realm are withdrawing from the exhibition at an alarming rate. Should this continue, Angbatha will have clear course to win top honors. Curses! It pains me enough that I cannot represent our guild in the contest, but the thought of those talentless hacks could claim the prize that is rightfully ours. What's that? Drawed of, Angba of Angbatha was the client who commissioned that choker? If I had known, I'd delivered in person and taken the payment out of his lousy hide. Oh yes, the two of us go back quite a ways. He was an adventurer and aspiring leather worker, not unlike yourself, Cat. We had a bit of a falling out, though. I remember like it was yesterday. He strolled through the door wearing a sh shit eating grin and holding a jerkin that looked like it had come out of the wrong end of an old goat. I told him as much, and the next moment, he ran back out the door, bawling like a child. That was the last I saw of him. Oh, so this is karma for you being a bitch. This sounds right. His sorry efforts weren't worth the hide they were made from, and now he fancies himself a fashion magnet? Magnate? Uh. Small wonder that Angbratha attire looks like something even a goblin would be ashamed to wear. The sad state of affairs is only not... is that not all customers are so discerning. What's worse is if Angbratha takes top honors at the exhibition, then their wasteful practices will be vindicated. Slipshod craftsmanship and butchery will become the norm. I cannot, I will not allow this to happen. Cat, listen carefully, for I mean to give you your most challenging task yet, if not ever. You are to present the Leather Workers Guild at the, represent the Leather Workers Guild at the exhibition and put the charlatan in his place. Raptor skin jerk in a peerless quality, melded with the gatherer's grasp materia of the third grade. This will be your submission. No simple task, but as one who's taken his lumps and paid his dues, I believe that you have it in you. The exhibition is to be held at Manketa's amphitheater. Uh, Estain has been charged with accepting submissions. Once your work is complete, deliver it to her with all speed. More materia. Okay. I was on a mission, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. This might be a shot in the dark, chat. We'll see. Let's see how far the... We'll see. Okay, so it'll take two more. We'll see if I can get this. I may have to redo it anyway, so. YOLO. 85% chance. Yo! Oh, I got lucky. What's that you say? You wish to submit one of your works for the exhibition? Then pray, hand it over without delay. The judging is about to commence. Here you go. Consider yourself fortunate. Had you come a bell later, the contest would already have been over. I must say I am relieved. There are far fewer entrants in this year's exhibition compared to past ones. And when I heard that the Leather Workers Guild would not be participating... Then you'll be happy to hear that our plans have changed. Guildmaster Jiva, do tell me you've decided to compete after all. Our guild will be represented, yes, but by Cat here. Our hair is so shiny in the rain. What an unexpected turn of events. But I must hurry. The exhibition is about to begin. Mm. 
Look, all the people magically disappeared. Oh my god. The fuck? So what, every single thing? Oh, Mother M Mione. Everybody creates the same thing and then it's compared? I guess that makes sense. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for. The judging for best leather apparel will now commence. It would seem that an unprecedented number of last-minute withdrawals have left us with precious few candidates worthy of top honors. Nevertheless, we will proceed as planned. Oh, Fufucha! Are these all guild leaders? Our next finalist is this lovely raptor skin jerkin, painstakingly crafted by an artisan of Engbratha apparel and accoutrements. Judges, if you would. Don't you clap, Fufucha! <laughs> the cut is rugged, yet serviceable. It would seem that numerous skins were layered to afford maximum protection. Function over form. A lancer couldn't cannot help but applaud such craftsmanship. Oh, so their plan was to make something really fucking good so they have high quality r recommendation, but that still they don't have high quality people. The tanning work is clumsy, but the sturdiness of the piece cannot be denied. In times of war, speed and practicality are virtues. I would say that it is worthy, worthy of consideration. Oh, it's this bitch. As wasteful as ever, I see. How many raptors did you butcher to create that mis misshapen mess? Ah, uh, Jiva. Fancy meeting you here. Stand back and watch that misshapen mess is named best in show. Our next and final piece is a last minute entry from the Leather Workers Guild. Haha. -ha. Oh, look at it shine. I threw glitter on it. You look pale, Dawid. What's the matter? I take it you weren't expecting actual competition. I don't remember his voice. Why, this is absolutely stunning. Positively stunning. One can almost feel the raptors of the very life force exuding from this jerkin. Not a single seam out of place, and not a single cut of the hide wasted. This piece was clearly crafted with a profound respect for the beast whose life was taken to create it. It offers sup- Oh, Lushane! It offers superior protection to the Engbratha piece, while at the same time allowing for greater freedom of movement. This jerkin would be a proud addition to any archer's armory chest. In my line of work, I have been seen many adventurer come and go. Rare is the one who possesses the aptitude and diligence demonstrated by the creator of this piece. Ladies and gentlemen, it would appear that we have a consensus. By unanimous vote, the award for best leather apparel goes to Cat of the Leather Workers Guild for his exquisite raptor skin jerkin. Thank you. Yeah, get fucked. Dard of Angbatha Apparel, I assume. Presume? We are investigating numerous accusations of harassment, extortion, counterfeiting, and poaching. If you'd be so kind as to come with us so that we might discuss these allegations in private. Ha! Get fucked. Well, Cat, it seems our work here is done. Let us return to the guild. Fucking wrecked, bro. Materia's just glitter confirmed, yeah. Oh. I must confess, Cat, until I saw your jerkin with my own eyes, I was not entirely convinced you had it in you. But you did. From this day forth, I am proud to call you not an apprentice, but a peer. As for me, I can finally return to my own work free of headaches and distractions. 
Though as luck would have it, we have a veritable legion of erstwhile and Botha defectors knocking on our door, looking to rejoin our ranks. They think their false tears and trite words are of remorse will earn them my pity? Ha! I'll send them straight on their way and lop a square off their hindquarters for good measure. She really likes to threaten people with their skin. Or so I once might have done. But who among us has not erred? Even I have been known to make mistakes, albeit rarely. And so I will give these turn cloaks a second chance. But mark my words, any who so much as thinks of crossing me again can look forward to new life as a subligar. The life of a guildmaster is fraught with frustration, yet I would gladly deal with a thousand hapless apprentices for apprentices for even the slimiest hope of seeing one flourish as you have. With your triumph of the exhibition, your goods are sure to be demanded across Deorzia, but you must never forget how you achieved their success. Unflagging dedication to your craft and a deep respect for the lives you must take to perform it. Remember always the values of Fen Il, and I have no doubt that you will do us proud wherever you go. Well, this gives me 3 and 33. Okay. Da, 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 da. This concludes the Leatherwork request for Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. In order to undertake the next series of requests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed a main scenario before the dawn. We have. Once you have done so, the next Leatherwork request will be available from Jiva. Well, look at that. Let's go. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Thank you.